This is Daily Dose of Daryl, Living Past the Future. I thought of yesterday, and now far we've come so Sing out valley. But just think about today. Back before the moon landing. The moon. Then Young people. Star, I threw a shot. Optimistic. Praying for the world that could be better than before. Feeling our spirits soar. Oh, gee, I'm looking forward to the future. From the distance, I can see a great new day is dawning in the 21st century. We're looking forward to the 21st century. I can remember the feeling, the energy. Wondering, is it but a dream or can it be reality? Can we be a part of that reality? Gee, I'm looking forward to the future. In Alabama, in the Deep South, in the 1960s, all races together, we felt like we were the beginning, even back then, of a new reality, a new day dawning. Back then, it was a great hope. A great vision. The people grew up, became fighter pilots, pastors, entrepreneurs, dancers, housewives, CPAs, and each following their own course, their own star, trying to make the world a better place and be a part of that new reality in the 21st century. Filled with optimism, filled with courage, filled with hope. Looking forward to the dawning of the 21st century, which seemed so far away. But still hoping that this would not be a dream, but we could help make it a reality not a dream but make it a reality that was our passion that was our goal we all had it from a very early age as we grew up in that little town my birthplace on the Chattahoochee River in Langdale Alabama in the 1940s what a blessing to have good parents that loved and cared for me and to have a good school with good friends and a, a great little playground and great activities together and great friendships established. Everyone being filled with hope and aspirations with good training even from kindergarten and on up with good relatives in the neighborhood that also showed love and care and being able to take uh, advantage of good teachers who really loved and cared for us whether in school or dance or art so many wonderful teachers and that great community having parades where we could express things like our love for others through turning a car into a float being able to have opportunities to compete as a young person, to have a, a father you can work with and learn from, to be blessed with a undergraduate schooling and a master's degree, to be able to follow a calling as a young person, as a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, an educator, some that someone that really loved life and was looking to be able to find how to make a difference in this world. Being blessed with an opportunity to have a community that would get behind things like crop hunger, hunger walks and been able to do things like ride a bicycle to Alabama to encourage people to get out there and see thousands responding and raising eventually millions of dollars and to to find like-minded people who really wanted to help others who are less fortunate to work together, to find a, a group of brothers and sisters in the fire service who are willing to uh, make a difference in that area of life. So many wonderful opportunities 
but realizing we have passed the dawning of the 21st century, we have grown old. <laughs> but guess what? If you've lived past the future, which was looking forward to at one time, you took a licking and you're still ticking. So rekindle your enthusiasm, rekindle your hope and energy. And certainly you're still here for a reason. So get excited about it and start looking for that reason because God hasn't given up on you. Don't give up on yourself. You're never too old. If you still have life, you have today. So make it count. Get excited. If you've looked for the future and found out you've passed it, sing it again. Gee, I'm looking forward to the future for the next day that comes to me to be able to sing it with glee. This is Daily Dose of Daryl encouraging you to sing it again. Get ready for your future. And thanks to these great folks for this great song and for Up With People and all they've done. God bless you.